Hey guys, if you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast with everything you need all in one place. Let me explain. Anchor has the tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. When hosting on Anchor, you can distribute your podcast on listening platforms like Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and more. And trust me guys, it works. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. And the best of all, it is totally free. Yes, totally free. So download the Anchor app today or go to anchor.fm to get started. Hello, hello. Welcome back to the Broke Boy Podcast. How's everyone doing? I'm doing pretty well. well it's actually getting a starting to get cold, I mean, my bad. Uh, it's about cloudy, windy, looks like it's going to rain. But I hope it doesn't rain. I hope to God it doesn't. But again, how how was your guys' morning? That's what I want to know. How is it? I hope you are doing very well this morning. And if you're not, just know. Things will get better. Just know that for sure. Things will get better. You may not think it will, but don't worry. Things happen for a reason, and... It'll get better. Reason why I'm speaking like that is because, I mean, not only do I have to start changing myself, but, you know, starting to talk with other people, you know, especially um, one of my managing brokers, I, you know, that's what she said. Um, Things happen for a reason. She believes in that type of, like, guess you can call it, like, theory uh, that she believes in and... I just have a lot of faith, a lot of belief, and whatnot, and I need, I need to start seeing that in myself. Got to see, got to start being more positive. Cause I was always being so negative, and that that wasn't good. It wasn't wasn't good. And I needed to stop just surrounding myself with so much negative energy that it was just super unhealthy for my mental state, which is never good. Like, never good. And also what I'm going to start doing, well, think of doing, just see how it goes, is I'm going to start doing a thing, well, I guess call it a call segment, and I'm calling it Telephone Thursdays. So every Thursdays, uh, every episode that I have on Thursdays, they're going to be including, at the end of the, uh, at the end of every episode on Thursdays, they're going to be including calling segments where... Um, people where I'll have the conversation that I've had with some people over the phone, I'll add at the end of that episode. And so during the week, I'll be live anywhere from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Central Time or 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. Mountain Time. And with that, I'll have the link up on like Facebook and whatnot and what you can do there. Um, Well, really, you don't really need to click on the link. You can just... Uh, type in the phone number and the pin and you'll be connected with me um obviously right now people haven't been connecting so i call some people that i know get them their ideas and just kind of start it out out like that so then i hope it can finally you know start kicking off with that just want to add it just just to see how it goes um because you know, i've been still listening to other podcasts and i heard that one i, I heard one called jeff fm and you know they have some calling segments, and so to have more engagement from the audience and more um, visibility to the public, I want to do that because if you know if they don't really even listen to my podcast episodes, but they finally tune into that episode because they want to hear themselves, or just say, "Hey guys, like you know you can hear me at the end of this call on this on this podcast episode where you can hear me all over." Excuse me, guys. Hiccups. You know, where you know, say you can hear me on Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio. Uh, I want to add it on Pandora here soon. Uh, Amazon Music, whatever. And that, cause then that'll just get the engagement of others of wanting to do it. Or hopefully just spread the word out. And because one of my goals is not only to uh, 
hopefully surpass a thousand plays by the end of the year. But to become the podcast that comes out of Nebraska, because a lot of the podcasts that you might, a lot of the popular podcasts you might see or hear, they're gonna be based off of maybe California, Texas, Florida, New York, a lot of states that are popular when it comes to just like big stuff. Uh, and so you know, we, I don't really hear much if not anything at all that comes out of Nebraska. I know there probably are some podcasts that come out of Nebraska, but I want I want to be that one that's recognizable for creating not only just good content but making but being different from the others. You know, I don't want people to listen to this podcast and just think, "Oh, Nebraska." We're going to talk about corn. Want to listen to this and say, oh, he's not just talking about that. You know, he's actually talking about, you know, maybe just some problems he's currently facing. Just talking like normal, being funny here and there, talking with some guests and whatnot. Because at first, one of my biggest goals, I mean, I have very big goals. But one of my biggest goals with the podcast was to try to at least have this one guest who... I guess I can still try to be in contact with, but or try to get, I guess you can say, but it'll be harder this time because, um, I mean, he is uh, currently not with the team anymore, being going by the name of Scott Frost, got fired, and that was one of my big ones, is try to get him on a podcast, but now that obviously he's fired... Can't really do anything, but maybe I still can. I mean, still try to get him on there. Once this podcast blows up and is a name when it comes out of uh, the town that I live in, which currently is Lincoln, Nebraska. And also, I want to be that podcast where I it's it's you know recognizable even in the town. Like people on like newsletters or um, on like posts, I'll say podcast to listen to for this week or something I want mine to be on one of them because i currently come from minotaur small town 850 and not really much stuff happens there not really anything happens there and you know i'm gonna be that small town boy that recognized and i hope to just be grinding it out with not only the podcast but once i'm a realtor grinding it out there too and Really, I mean, I mean, really, yeah, just really goal oriented. Oriented. I have ways on how I want to do that. Um, you know, if I can get engagement to, from people, that would be amazing. You know, talking with people, hearing their stories, and them being comfortable with others hearing that story makes me happy because, you know, one day, you know, you're not feeling it. You're just in a very dark place right now and maybe what i'm saying doesn't just doesn't click with you but if i have a guest that can talk and we're having a conversation and it clicks on them it, that it can also click on you you know you can hear it just like a just like a song you can listen to a song and it can just click on you like damn like i need to get my shit together or damn like i really miss this woman or whatever or damn i really love this woman or I really love life. And you know, speaking with guests, hearing their stories, and then also getting that engagement from other people. You know, I, I want that. I, I want that to happen to people. I want them to be inspired by this podcast to say, hey, you know, like, you know, if, if you've had similar struggles or even worse struggles, and being in Nebraska, you think you're just not going to get out of it. You know, I want people to, li- to listen to this and say, well, look at this guy. He did it too, and hopefully to you know, just be an inspiration and whatnot. And because one of my like one of my lifetime goals with the podcast is to either have these people as a guest or be featured on their podcast, which is Impulsive, Graham Stephan, Ice Coffee Hour, or Joe Rogan's. If I can be on. Either those three, or even all three. Oh, 
That's a lifetime goal when it comes to the podcast. And then in real estate, one of my goals being a realtor is being one of the top agents, not only in Nebraska, but uh, in the U.S., like being one of the top coming out of Nebraska. And you know, having, having, my own, having my own real estate portfolio and meeting with others that I have looked up to on them, which could be Graham Stephan, Ryan Pineda, Ben Mala, um, uh, I think like, what's his name? Meet Kevin. You know, people like that be wonderful, be tremendous. And so I'll just say it again. If you're ever in a dark place right now, and you might just think that you're never gonna get it, you're never gonna get out of it. Trust me, you will. Sometimes you need to be in those dark places to learn. To I know it may sound fucked up to some people of oh well, you know, I want to be doing this to myself. I want to whatever. Trust me, when you're the one that's gonna be chosen to make it out. You have to live through those moments to really figure out what either what you want to do or how you're going to overcome this or just those just those life experiences. And trust me, like it it happens. And I just want people to you know, think on the think on that positive side. Yes, negatives could happen. But they haven't happened yet. So work to get those positives out. Be positive. Work to get those negatives out. And those positives out. Just trust me. You'll make it out. You will make it out. But other than that, I hope just everyone's doing well. Now, my girlfriend... Love her to death. She had her interview. It's not wasn't like a true interview. It was just kind of like a practice interview with um, with one of her classes and whatnot. She did tremendously well. Super proud of her for it. No, I knew she could do it. I knew she could get high high grades. Super super happy for her. And that's on the topic of my girlfriend. No, she next summer. Oh, hold on. I need a drink of water. Ah. Next summer, what we're planning on doing, uh, well, my parents hopefully going to Mexico. And a white girl going to Mexico, you guys might think, oh, it's um, Cancun. Nope. It's like. Monterrey, and you know, visit my grandma, visit my uncles and shit like that. You know, basic shit people do when visiting family. But with her, she'll get the true experience of Mexican food. No, like nothing. A lot of I mean, obviously, there's like true. There's true Mexican restaurants here in the U.S. I'm not saying there isn't. There is, but a lot of them being like. Trying, like, pleasing the whites, like, trying to, like, make sure there's not, like, too much seasoning, not too much saltiness, like, bland flavors, and whatnot. No, over there, she'll be getting the true, true experience. She is ready for it. Um, I have told her, though, it can get very humid there. So just uh, be on the lookout when it... Come to the humidity because that will be ass, and that's why when down there, I like having the the uh, air conditioner on a lot because <laughs> when it's humid, I sweat a lot. But I mean a lot, and so <laughs> I wanna I wanna be I wanna be cold. I wanna feel good. I want to feel good. And if I can't, and how can I feel good if I'm sweating all the fucking time? Because sweating all the fucking time is never good. You know? It's never good. 
I hope it's uh, loud enough, because on my view, it doesn't look like it's really... Look... Look like it, so I hope it's... Working. Hope it looks good. Not looks. Sounds good. And hope to be... Um... to invest a lot more on the podcast where I can get you know better equipment, uh, better mics, like truly better mics so when you hear me uh, speaking and breathing, I don't sound like I'm fucking out of breath. Uh, and also start hiring some people for my team so then I you know, can have them help me. I have them help market it more than what I can. And not really. I mean, right now I wouldn't be able to pay them, but when I am able to, I'm gonna be paying pretty good. I'm not gonna no bullshit. I'm gonna I'm gonna pay them pretty good, even if it might be part time. Be good enough. You know, I just got a text message that Target has COVID cases, and do I really give a shit? No, I don't give a shit of. Of COVID at this point, like what was it a couple of days ago? COVID, uh, not COVID. Biden just announced COVID is basically the pandemic is finally over. I'm like, oh, finally it's been over, buddy. It's just been pushing it too much. It's been over. Like, I'm I'm done with fucking COVID. I'm done with it. Everyone's done with it. People that aren't done with it, they're scared to. Uh, they're scared to say that they're done with it because. Others that f- that they follow aren't done with it, so they're too scared to to say against them, to go against them. But and truly, people are done with it. Everyone's done with it, and so yeah, fuck COVID. <laughs> um, uh, let's see, what else can I think of? What little else can I think of? I mean, with some of the people that I did actually have those calls, I hope maybe I can have them on the podcast. One of them I I have had on the podcast, um, but others I haven't. So I'm hoping to see if maybe they'll be interested in being on the podcast. Um, one of them uh, that goes by the name of Dylan. He also has a podcast, and if I can get him on the podcast as a guest, I'll have him kind of introduce himself and tell tell us more about. Of that podcast. So, Dylan, if you ever listen to this, what's up, baby boy? How you doing? <laughs> but yeah, at, again, like I said, at the end of this uh, episode, well, we'll have the calling segments. Um, this first one, well, again, was my first time. So, if it sounds like it, if you can hear cuts, I didn't do it. I either had to obviously edit edit some of that, had to do some cuts on certain parts. So if it doesn't, so if if it sounds a little bit choppy. My bad. I tr- I tried my best, okay? Bear with me. I tried my best. But I love you guys. See you on the next episode. And talk to you then. Well, I don't know if you saw, but obviously I'm, I'm just having a calling segment that I'm thinking of, or not thinking, I guess will do with the podcast and have like some of those segments out at the end. Like people can call and shit. Like people can oh. join all on the thing, and then at the end of every Thursday episode, I'll have like the call, just like the little call segment. Oh, that makes but, sense. So, but obviously, like right now, no one has uh, called, so I decided to just maybe first reach out. Calling? Yeah, start calling for right now, and so yeah. Um, so I don't know if you'd be awake. That would help you. Yeah, I don't know if you'd be awake, so I decided to. To, uh, no, no, I was awake. I just when the when you called me the first time, it said Google Meet, but then it said Boston, Massachusetts. So then I was like, mm, decline. And then you called again. I was like, you know, it low key could be more cool. So I answered. Yeah, that's me. But <laughs> you know, I guess just for the little quick section, do you want to shout out anyone? Yeah. Do want to say anything? Um, I'm kind of on the toilet right now. Oh, I'll talk about it.
Okay. Mm, yeah. <laughs> but, um... I mean, I guess you can shout out Chloe's birthday. Yeah, that's actually what I was doing was creating a post for her. For you intro to me. That's fine. So, happy birthday, Chloe. I love you so much. If you hear this, if you watch it later. I hope you have a great day. I love hope you, Chloe. And be on the road when you're driving by yourself. Right. 16. Well, hey, man, I guess you'll... If she listens 16. to it at all, she, mean, if she gets to the end of it, she'll be able to... to so. Wag. Alrighty, so enjoy your shit. And right now I'm in Panera, so... <laughs> Thank you. You have a great day at Panera. Thank you for right, thank calling you. me. Right, of course. And again, if you ever okay. get a Google Meet, you no, know, it'll ninety nine percent of the time. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. Have a good day, Marco. Thank you. you too. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. Bye. All right, we have another caller. See if he answers. Hello, hello. This is Zeus. Who's this? Uh, it's Marco. Do you remember me? Marco. Yeah, uh, we used to work at Walmart. Oh, yeah, bro. What's up? Uh, how you doing? Good. And you, bro, fucking Boston number scared me. No, 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 you're good, you're good. I, I, I still have my current phone, up, the uh, phone number that I still have for my phone and shit. It's still the same, but uh, uh-huh. right now, I, mean, I don't know if you, uh, I don't even think I have you on Facebook or Instagram, but you know, I have a podcast, and I'm thinking of doing this new segment on there where, well, I mean, I want people to call me just so they can like, say what's up, whatever, but right now, I'm trying to call people to try to you know, get it out there so then they can start seeing it and then hopefully call in and shit. Oh, yeah. I and, feel you, bro. Hell yeah. You do a little shit. That's what's up, bro. Hell yeah. yeah. I feel you. Also, what was that? I feel you, bro. Hell yeah. Yeah, because then I'm also uh, starting to get my real estate license because I got some plans that I want to that I want to do and so got to get the real estate license to do that to become a realtor for right now and also have a podcast with it. Oh. Hell yeah, bro, that's what's up. I feel yeah, it too because right now I'm in training and once I get back home, I want to want to hop into real estate as well. There you go. Where are you at right now? I'm in Texas right now, bro. I'm on an Air Force base training to become a firefighter. Ooh, Texas. How's that been? My fucking ass is sweating. Wait, Texas is hot as shit. Texas is in uh, fucking Nebraska. Nah, dead ass, bro. And before this, I was in Oklahoma. How was that? It was ass. There's nothing in Oklahoma. I did my boot camp over there, bro. That shit was terrible. But how how was fun though? How's all that been though? Cause I remember you uh, we were at Walmart. You were talking about it. And now now you're in it. And like how how was that journey? Yeah, bro. Oh shit! I learned how to become an expert shooter and throw grenades. That shit was badass. Oh, was the uh, Call of Duty kid inside of you happy? Hell yeah, I was really happy, bro. I was like, oh shit, this shit's for the fuck. No, bro. Fuck you. Probably shooting huh? guns. Hell yeah, I love shooting them. So, when you smell the gunpowder every day, bro, that shit's fire. Hey, that's what's up. You want to shout out anyone? Do you want to say anything right now, or? Yeah, I don't even know. Honestly, shit. Shout out my mama for real. Shout out my family for real. There you go. Nice. Like, I can tell what the podcast name is, and you can check it out if you want. What's the podcast name? Tell me what's up. No, I'll, just, I'll send you it. I'll, I'll send you all the details and shit. Because if you ever want to, if you ever want to be a guest on it, um, it'd be every Thursdays are for guests. So 
all we can. Okay. But, I mean, that's for the episodes to be uploaded. But we can always call, uh, like, Monday through Wednesday, whatever time you uh, you could do it. And then the uh, episode will be uploaded and ready um, Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Central Time or 9 a.m. Mountain Time. And on all okay. podcasting platforms. So Spotify, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, all of them. So. Damn, bro. I'm proud of you, bro. This is crazy. Thank you, thank you. I mean, my, I mean, right now, my listens aren't like like twenty thousand every episode, but I mean, I've been consistent with it. I'm not gonna stop with it. So, but yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's been fun. Keep pushing out content, bro. Shit, the, the followers, the fans, you know what I mean. Everybody that's gonna support you is gonna come. They're gonna see you working, bro, nonstop, and they're gonna love that shit. Get us. Okay, yeah, and and then hopefully with. Being a realtor and then starting my journey off in the real estate and doing all that fun stuff, you know, be seeing me differently from them uh, working at Walmart, being that Walmart guy. Oh, yeah. All right. That's uh, really uh, good, uh, though. You need to do. Sure, yeah, bro. Well, sounds good. All right. You take care. All right. All right. Thank you. You too. Hey, I'll call you right now and just send me that text. Yeah, sounds good. I might even share. Uh, the most recent episode in the text, just so you can see, just see how that is. Yeah, sounds good. And honestly, I might tell some of my homies too. Here. Shit, sounds good. Thank you for spreading that word. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, Thank bro. You. Um, hey, yeah, yeah, I'm proud of you, big dog. You too, all right? Thank, thank you. I'm proud of you too. Thank you, brother. Take care. All right, take care. Right, bye bye. Mm-hmm. Bye. I was thinking